Welcome everybody to the intro of the Axis Unseen. This is a long awaited game that I've had on my wait list and the demo has finally been released. Now this isn't a playthrough of the demo, rather a view of the intro to the game, which I felt was one of the best intros I have ever seen in a video game. Now a little bit about this game. It has been created and developed by Nate Perkypile, who is a veteran in the gaming industry. He has 20 plus years. He's worked on such titles as Skyrim, Fallout 3, 4, and Fallout 76, Starfield, Metroid, Prime 3, and Blood Rain 2. He was the lead artist on Fallout 76 and the co-lead slash lead artist on Fallout 3 DLC, uh, Point Lookout. This guy has quite the portfolio about him and uh, rightfully so, This it's quite impressive. Now, I have never seen an intro to a video game such as this one. When you start the game for the demo mode, it says that the intro to the Axis is set to music and it will cut and move you at certain points in the song. Now the song is awesome. I mean, as it goes up, it builds up and it starts to get really deep into the, the, the guitar and the metal music and you're just running through this, but this is just kind of letting you know how to play the game. Hey, this is how you draw the arrow back. This is how you attack melee. This is how you run. This is how you jump, heal and kind of explaining little tidbits throughout the game as you advance in the intro. But as you can tell on the top is the white bar that slowly shrinks with each new area that you are brought to within the song. And it just allows you to kind of get used to the game before you set off into the demo. Now I haven't played the demo fully. I am still currently in the process of playing the demo. It is very fun. It's a very fun game. Very interesting and unlike any game I have played before. Really enjoy it. Some things that really stand out about the game, apart from others that I haven't seen, is in this, if you hold down R, you will see that a quiver comes up showing you the amount of arrows that you have left, but there's a flag in your left hand. And the thing is, in this game, depending on which difficulty setting you choose, now you can choose the easiest difficulty setting, which I believe he words as it is nearly impossible to die unless you are AFK, which I thought was pretty comical, all the way up to super hardcore mode where if you die, your save is completely deleted. So you have a good range of difficulties for the veterans out there that want a real challenge. But depending on the difficulty you can choose, the flag that is in that left hand, when you pull that up, that is showing you the wind direction. Now. The monsters in this game are constantly out there searching for you and looking to hunt you down. Based on the wind, they can smell your scent, which I thought was unique. I've never seen that before. Uh, so that stands out a lot. Uh, the glowing that you see on the bow is different powers that you have and the, the, the amount that you have. Uh, it's, again, something I haven't really seen. The bow kind of reminds me of the old Turok days. I don't know why, but Attacking is very basic in this game. Kind of weird on the key bindings on how to draw the bow back and actually uh, send it forward. For this one, you would hold down the right mouse button and then you let go with the left mouse button for the arrow, which I don't know, kind of weird. I don't know why they couldn't just make it where, you know, it's all in the left mouse button. Hold it down, it draws the bow, release the left mouse button, it sends the arrow. This one, it's hold the right mouse button, then press the left mouse button and uh, you'll get things going. Uh, but the left click in this game, if you are not drawing the bow back, is your dagger. Uh, it's pretty strong. I don't know if that's just meant for the demo or if that's the only weapon that's going to be available to us. But as you can see, as the intro goes, as the music intensifies, we keep getting sent to these new scenes in the game. And it's very brief. You don't have a lot of time, but it allows you to kind of get used to the game and how you're going to play. Drawing the bow, understanding the characteristics, stabbing at it, kind of moving around while listening to this pretty bitchin' song, if I do say so myself. I mean, would you just listen to that? It just keeps getting louder and more metal and just absolutely awesome. The overall scenery of the game, my God. I mean, it just absolutely draws you in. It's, it's gritty, it's dark, it's evil. It makes you want to get out there and face all these different certain types of creatures. Uh, I think for a one-man show, Nate has done a pretty 
an impeccable job so far. Little things that can be worked on. Some of the, the, the way the monsters move around is, is a little clunky. But you know what? The game releases October 22nd, I believe. And uh, there's still time to clean that up. Uh, no saying that it's that's how it's going to be when it actually comes out. But there is a plethora of monsters out here for you to to run into, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna make for a super interesting game. There's no doubt about that. You have your standard heal potions. Press Q heals you. One of the interesting things about the bow, and I really like it, is there is a spirit arrow. It's not introduced here in the intro, but when you actually get into the demo, you can use it. And it's an arrow that is almost composed of little dots of magic. It's not a real arrow. And you shoot it up in the air, and it kind of gives you an, a bird's eye view of the area around you, so you can kind of gather yourself. I've uh, never seen that before in a game either. I thought that was very unique, very cool. But the game, I guess, the whole theme of it is it's about the metal music. You're going to listen to this awesome metal music as you play and it's just epic. Can't wait to actually try the full release of this once it's out. October 22nd. If you have been interested in this game, get to the Steam page, the Axis Unseen, download the demo. It's free. Why not at least try it and see what you think? And that is going to do it for the intro. Was that not one of the most awesome, most badass intros to any game that you've ever played? I thought it was. I, I, super interesting. It's not even the demo start. I thought this was the demo as I was playing it. I thought it was an interesting way to take on the demo. But this is just getting you used to the intro before you actually play the demo of the game. But that's going to do it. The Axis Unseen gets the page. Try it out. Smash that likes button so this video can get out to many more. And comment down below what did you guys think. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, all right?